What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're bringing you a monster, monster, monster pulverizing werebear build for the druid. I've been playtesting all day and I still can't come up with any other builds besides this one. We're really working on it. It seems like the druid has been plagued just like the barbarian, but we're going to give it our best shot. So we're going all werebear. So to start, we're going to go wind shear with enhanced wind shear. So that way we can have wild wind shear to generate the most spirit. Wind shear has the highest spirit generation out of everything. This is going to give us 15 uh, spirit per shot that we do, which is really, really good. Then we're going to come down. We're going to put five points into pulverize. This changes us into a werebear. And we're going to slam the ground, dealing 305 damage to surrounding enemies. We got enhanced pulverize, which will allow us to be overpowered as long as we can be healthy. And then Raging Pulverize, which enemies are stunned for two seconds when they are overpowered with Pulverize. Then we got three points in Predatory Instinct. Critical Strikes against close enemies uh, is increased by 9%. We're doing everything melee. We're going to go down to our defensive skills. We have Earthen Bulwark. Then we're gonna, This is going to give us a barrier. We're going to go up to Enhanced, which makes us unstoppable, which is great. So we can't be CC'd. And then we have Pulverize, or Preserving Earthen Bulwark. So that way we get Fortify. A lot of this build depends on us being fortified, being as healthy as possible. Then we have a debil debilitating roar, which shapeshifts us into a bear, reducing all damage by nearby uh, enemies by 50% for four seconds. Then we have uh, enhanced, which fortifies us again. We have one in trample. This is just movement to get around. Then we have three points in crushing earth. Earth skills deal 15% increased damage to slowed, stunned, immobilized, or knocked back enemies. Then we have two points in Stone Guard. While we're fortified over 50% of our max life, Earth skills deal 8% increased damage. Then we come down and we're going to do one point in our Grizzly Rage to be an unstoppable werebear with Enhanced. So that way we also get unstoppable so we don't have any CC. So the build works pretty simple. We're going to Wind Shear to get our spirit up. We're going to Pulverize. We Shape Shift when we have the boss. And then we're going to trample anything that we need to, to to get some movement around. This is going to make us fortify immediately. So we're going to pop this first. We're going to pop Earth and Bulwark and then do all the damage through Pulverize. Now, so let's go. Let's see if we can beat this guy down. I wish I had more spirit, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do. Roar it up. We need more spirit. This is why wind shear is so important. Stay fortified. Get some. The build is not bad against single target. It definitely favors AOE for sure. Oh, uh, give us that crit. We got to stay healthy, hit our shields. Stay healthy. It's actually pretty strong. It's not too bad, guys. And then boom. The build is not bad for a melee character. Now again, it's super, super strong, guys. I know uh, everything is struggling uh, with druid and barbarian against the range classes but this build is very very strong so let's go over some very key pieces for gear this build is heavily reliant on a lot of gear pieces so let's go the first one that you're going to need is you have a 43 percent increased critical chance against injured enemies this is good you don't have to have it but this is very good uh the, this is one main one that you need guys when you have fortify my earth skills gain two more ranks which is awesome this is a big one damaging elites gives you a barrier absorbing up to 473 damage for 10 seconds this happens every 30 seconds but this is huge remember barrier pulverize is now a earth skill so now pulverize is an earth skill and we get two more ranks of it so we have seven ranks in pulverize and it gives us that tectonic spike which is what you guys see here uh, we don't have the spirit but it's the little spike that jumps up and around which is huge and then we have a uh, Imprint damaging from earth skills, slow enemies by 40%. So every time we hit with earth, we slow. So we always get our buff in our skills that deal damage against CC effect creatures. Then we have uh, increased crowd control that deals more damage, that's fine. 
then you have 39% increased damage while a shield is or a barrier is active. So we get a barrier from damaging an elite, or we get a barrier from doing Earth and Bulwark because it is a barrier. So while we're in a barrier for up to 13 seconds, we deal 40% uh, increased damage. This is huge. Then this is just uh, skills up to 31% of our resource. So that is just more damage. You don't have to have that one. And then this is the shockwave that sends out, which is great for e uh, AOE, is pulverize, creates a shockwave, travels forward, dealing 98% of its damage uh, in the targeted path. So this is the wear bear build that I have for you guys. This build is really, really cool. I've worked all day on putting it together. It's really fun. There's not a whole lot of love for the Druid because a big issue is that we don't have access to the uh, Druid special spirit boons abilities. You can't get this right now in the beta, so we have to wait for the full game. So it's suffering there. It's kind of weird that the Druid and the Barbarian both suffer and we don't get their special abilities when the other three classes get them, but it is what it is. So that is the Werebear build, guys. Drop a like if you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.